Hello, welcome to Solange Speaks. Today we're going to be talking to Dr. Brandy Williams with We Care RX Pharmacy. Welcome, welcome to Solange Speaks. Uh, today we have Dr. Brandy Williams pharmacist and how many years pharmacy i've been a pharmacist for 15 years 15 years and she is with we care rx pharmacy so give us a little bit about your business and how you help the community okay well thank you oh, thank you welcome. for having me um it's a pleasure to be here um so we care rx pharmacy um we are full service retail pharmacy however our specialty is compounding okay and um compounding just allows us to tailor the medication in the dosage in the dosage form to fit specific patients in their needs and their conditions. Okay. Um, and so we offer mail order, we offer delivery. Um, and my purpose in pharmacy is just to um, give back to the community, provide that excellent care and an excellent customer service that patients were used to before Big Pharma took said over. It, said it again. Yeah, and so my, my purpose <laughs> with, with having an independent pharmacy is to give that back and bring that back to the community and let them know that there are still pharmacists out there who care. There are still pharmacists out there that they can trust. And you know, that's really important because uh, like I was telling you before we started is that, you know, I deal with a lot of seniors and that's for them, the without their prescriptions, their a way of living, just their everyday living would lessen. So mm -hmm. just to have someone care about if they call about their pharmacy, about their um, prescriptions is great. Someone that's actually going to come call them back, deliver their products, and we care. That's a great name, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. So we were talking a little bit about compounding before we started. And it was very interesting because I could never understand uh, why a prescription dosage didn't match something I was looking up. So could you explain that one more time for the patients and how would they go about it, go about it if they needed to com compound their prescription? Okay. Um, so with the compounding, so for instance, um, let's just say that they are on something, we'll use something as simple as high blood pressure. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's not being controlled. That seems like everybody have high yes, blood pressure. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's not being controlled. We can reach out to their doctor and do a consult. We can first um, consult with the doctor but, um, and the patient or either vice versa, consult with the patient first. But it all leads back to doing a consultation with the Okay, physician. so you will call their doctor for yes. them. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we would call the doctor for them um, and we with the doctor during the consultation, mm -hmm. we would review their lab work and the medications that they're already on oh, wow. and then see if make recommendations mm -hmm. and see how we could um, tailor a dosage form that would work for them in a, in a dosage, whether that's combining uh -huh. um, active ingredients okay. that help lower the blood pressure that may not be on the market um, in that combination or in oh, that wow. form or in that particular dose. Okay. So that's basically what we're able to do with the compounding. Okay. Um, and it's simple. Um, if you, you can just reach out to the pharmacy via our website okay. um, and schedule a consultation. If you have questions or concerns about anything medication related so so what would make me think oh maybe i just don't have the right dosage what would make me think okay i need compound because i think that would be the awareness how would i say oh let me call we care and see if i need another dosage and get them to call my doctor what would make me do that what would you know be the 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 the, the alarm that says i need something Some more or i need less um just back and forth trips uh to the doctor's office mm. regarding the same issue mm. and you can't figure it out, can't mm. find out why it's not being controlled or can't even or why figure it's not out working. Okay. exactly okay. or even, yeah, figure out what to do or what the condition is okay. or what is. So even if you're just having symptoms, sometimes when the pharmacist and the physician work together, uh -huh. we can kind of narrow it down and figure out, okay, well, just like with hormone therapy or mm. anything like that. So sometimes physicians will have patients on certain medication or on a certain dosage. And until they really get with the, um, and consult with the pharmacist, mm -hmm. um, it, it wavers and, and nothing is really working to treat the condition, which is well, why they have pharmacists round with the physicians in the hospital. Yeah, you just explain it. And it's kind of scary. I'm just going to say it. It's kind of scary to think that I would need my pharmacist to help me figure out my prescription when I'm going to my doctor. 
That's kind of scary. <laughs> and, and so it, it, it seems that way, but that's really the way that it was that it's set up or that it's designed. So it seems that way because there's there's not awareness to these issues, right? right? But physicians deal with the full body and the full makeup. Okay. So yes, they have a when they're in medical school, they have a very small portion of that where they study pharmacology. Oh, Whereas wow. pharmacists, mm-hmm. their entire um, study while there is, pharm- is is pharmacology. It's it's everything medicine so you go through and you study different systems in the body right. and so what that's your specialist so exactly right. exactly so, so, so physicians know but they don't study it in depth right to, so. but i'm thinking that and and so i would if i was a doctor and i that's not my specialty then i would partner with a pharmacy and say why can they do that if because I, I personally know, because of being a broker, I believe in living your life insured. So one of my things is checking, making sure their prescriptions are on their plans, right? And so many times they are being double dosed or something. So, and this is by the same doctor. So why wouldn't a doctor, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you, but I, why wouldn't they say go check with a pharmacy? Or why wouldn't they have someone like we here that would actually call them and coordinate benefits with them or coordinate their um, prescriptions and the what the what whatever needs the, the ingredients that need to be in? Why wouldn't they do that? Just do it as a as an added value. Why wouldn't they care, well, play on words, <laughs> enough to help those uh, individuals that need that? Well, that is a... Um... <laughs> question that I cannot really answer, yeah. but what I can say is some physicians do. Okay. Um, and then again, not knowing th- there are not many pharmacies that offer mm-hmm. this added value. Okay. Like this is something extra, right? So okay. when you go that to your sense. normal retail pharmacies mm. that are on every corner that you usually mm-hmm. see, they're so busy, they're okay. so congested, and um, they don't really have. That, that's not something that they offer, right? Okay. So when you get a prescription, of course, if you get a prescription and the pharmacist is filling that prescription and they have your other um, prescriptions mm-hmm. on file, so they have a complete medical record um, mm-hmm. as far as your prescriptions go, mm-hmm. then yes, they can say, oh, well, this interacts with this drug. Mm-hmm. And so let me call your doctor to let your doctor know and make them aware. And let's see if we can switch it to something oh, else. Wow. So that's how it usually yeah. works. That's the job of the mm-hmm. pharmacist. And that's the extent... Um, in an outpatient So everybody's setting. doing their job. They're just not doing the extra added value. Exactly. Wow. Well, that's good information. So when we come back, I want to know a little bit more about you and how people can contact you. So just give us a couple minutes, okay? Okay. All right, Wonderful. great. Um, I am Dr. Brandy Williams with We Care RX Pharmacy, and you're watching Solange C on Cam Vision 365. So... Uh, while we was off, uh, <laughs> we were talking about where you were located. So I really want them to know that we want to get that in before the end, right? So let's go ahead and get how they can contact you in the beginning and where you located and how they can get in touch with you and how far you would travel to give them these services. Wonderful. Um, so we are We Care RX Pharmacy. We are located in Memorial City. The physical address is 12390 Kings Ride Lane, Houston, Texas. 77024. Do not let the location discourage you because we do offer delivery and mail order services and our reach extends pretty much all over the state of Texas and we do do some out of state um, prescriptions for a mail order as well but we have um, we service as far as Galveston, Humble, um, Sealy, uh, New Waverly, New Caney, Conroe, Baytown, Katie, I mean, so we cover Houston and all of its surrounding areas. So pretty much anywhere throughout the state of Texas, if you want the service that we provide, we can and will render that service to you. So that is great. So not only are you, your name actually says we care RX, you do care because I know a lot of companies being in the business that I am um, with policies with life insurance with carriers, right, that they will only travel five miles out, 10 miles out. So the fact that you are are willing to go anywhere to assist and call it. I'm still amazed about you calling the doctors, first of all, and coordinating that for them. So that's great. So if you you have the prescription piece, do you have any other added services or values if a client reach out to you guys, if anyone from Solange Speak reach out to you? Do you have any other added services? 
Um, so retail compounding, specialty meds, okay. um, and then just consultations, right? Okay. So, and, and we do consultations even if you're not our patient, you can okay. still go to our website, which is www.mywecarerx.com, and you can schedule a consultation. Um, you can do immunization. You can schedule to come oh, wow. in or either we eat. So here we go out. Mm -hmm. and do vaccinations as okay. well or either sometimes there are some patients that um, need medications injected and okay. depending on the medication we go out and do that service as well oh wow so yeah we, when when i tell you full service oh, wow i and love that everything I love with that. care yeah. so yeah so in the consultation piece how much information do they have to have for you how long does it take what are, are you asking them what what are you hoping to get out of after you consult with them so anywhere a consultation can be anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes okay. depending on what it is that you desire to know and how much information mm -hmm. you have for me so um basically on a um a patient that doesn't have like their full medical record they haven't been keeping up with mm -hmm. okay I take this at this time and this is how it makes me feel and side effects mm -hmm. um, that I have then if you just come in and say hey these are the medications I take mm -hmm. and just can you tell me about it okay. if that's what you want then we can do that as well but if you want to go even further in depth if you're one of those people that journal and you have you mm. bring all your bottles <laughs> or you know all of your medications right right and you know they come when, with their list they come with their list <laughs> yeah. we can go through that and dissect that and break that down as well for them um, and even if it's even better if you have this if you have okay I take this at this time and then I take this and then I start to feel a little lightheaded mm -hmm. or um, when I stand I feel a little dizzy mm -hmm. just things like that mm -hmm. um, more in, the more the more information you provide the more in-depth um, of an explanation we can give you as to why or which medications may be causing this or that okay so once you have the, the consultation then what's the next step so it, it again that depends on the patient mm -hmm. um, so once we have the consultation the patient may say okay um, and we can figure out okay well this medication may be making you feel this way or what what not I can tell them well we can reach out to your doctor there's okay. other medications um, available to treat that same um, condition uh, that don't cause that particular side effect okay. or doesn't interact you may be having an interaction with another medication mm -hmm. that you're taking and the interaction may not be severe okay. but you may still be seeing some side effects from that interaction okay. and so we can figure that out for you and then consult your doctor so everything we still have to go back to the physician okay. and consult right. with That's the physician okay. before any changes Systemic. happen okay. yes okay. the pharmacist there has to be a pharmacist physician relationship okay um in order to do anything for that the makes patient. sense that yes. that makes sense so what is the cost of the consultation so that depends okay. um, first consultations are free okay um awesome. and then depending on um the level of Expert, expert expertise that you need or the amount of time that we have to take okay. to resolve the the issue okay. then that's where we would tailor cost into okay. it but first off just come in to do the consultation that's free so don't worry about cost in the beginning let you let, let you let we care help them figure it out right so uh, once uh, another question I have is I know sometimes uh, there could be prescriptions that cost less than what they're taking. Are they concerned? Are they just stop ta taking medication altogether because they want to pay for it? Can you help them with that? Figure uh, that out. We can help figure it out. Okay. Um, sometimes just because the patient patient's insurance. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes we can't get around the cost, but there may be another medication that the insurance will cover okay. and their copay. But you can help them figure out what that medication is. Correct. Okay. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we oh, we try to take the ease. Um, the we we try to make it easier and ease right. the pain of taking it because right patient compliance is everything. If the patient is non-compliant. Then you they just can get better, the they can be healthy, they can't live the best life they can. Exactly. I get it. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So we want you to be compliant. And that's where um, compounding can somewhat, there are a, a few stipulations uh -huh. on it um, as far as it goes with the FDA. They don't want you to necessarily um, make something that's already on the market. Mm. So that's why it's dosage okay specific got gotcha. you so okay. um that's why you have to kind of tailor the dosage okay the, you know it, and so that's why it's for um patients who may not be um 
the tr- their therapy may not be working for them. Gotcha. And so then you figure that out and you tailor the dosage. And then there are some things that are just not on the market okay. um, that are, are maybe that dosage form that you need it in or is not on the market, like pediatrics. Pediatrics is a big um, compounding because, of course, they can't. There are some medications that don't come in a liquid form. Or, oh, yeah. You yeah, know, right, right. So we yeah, have to compound <laughs> it for them. Or some patients. Some pediatrics have had um, gastrointestinal surgery Mm -hmm. or whatnot, and so they need rectal medications that are not on the market. So it's an array of of things that we can offer and figure it out just with one consultation. Oh, wow. So what I have learned today, which has been great, uh, we care our ex-pharmacy. So you definitely care because you're willing to go anywhere, which I love. You're willing to have a first consultation at least for free to find out where they are and where they stand. So uh, you are doing a great job for the community and a great service for our communities, which I must applaud you for. So one more time, please let the let them know where they can find you, where your location is, and uh, and what you will and how far you willing to travel off of them. Wonderful. So. We Care RX Pharmacy. Um, we're located in Memorial City, 12390 Kings Ride Lane, Houston, Texas, 77024. We have another location that's coming, that's opening in December, that will be at South Main in Bracewood. Um, you can keep in touch with us um, following what we have uh, coming with social media um, at My We Care RX on IG and on Facebook, it's We Care RX on LinkedIn. It's we care our eggs and if you want to follow me personally to see all the things that we're doing to advocate for health within the community you can follow me at um, dr b williams and on facebook it's brandy dominique williams (laughs) (laughs) love it love it yeah um and so we deliver all over anywhere you live in the state of texas or outside of um, Texas. There are some states that we can mail out to outside of the state of Texas, but anywhere in the state of Texas with, is within reach for us. That is wonderful. Again, thank you, Ms. Dr. Williams, for being here. I appreciate you, and thank you for what you do to the, for the community. Yes, thank you yeah. for having me, and yeah. thank you for having and building this platform. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you're yeah, welcome. to bring awareness, so thank you. You're welcome. Follow us on YouTube, mm-hmm. on Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, you can email me at solangelegacy at gmail.com, Solange at Solange Legacy. Also follow us on Cam Vision 365, Roku 5, Fire TV, and Apple TV.